Hey, it's Leanne Betts here for What's Up Wednesday. I'm the creator of the Declutter Your Life 30 Day Challenge. And um, today we're going to talk about email. And is your email controlling you or are you controlling it? Most people I talk to, their email is controlling them or they're totally avoiding their email. So today let's tackle email head on and take back control. It is, after all, spring cleaning, and uh, let's, you know, declutter the clutter of technology that we have. And our inbox is becoming um, an ever-increasing sore spot for that. So um, I'm going to give you a few tips today. They may see, seem super simple, which they are, but what happens is, is we kind of conjecture up in our mind that our email is like, you know, got a life of its own. And uh, I'm going to give you these tips today, and if you... Uh, try them. Let me know how it goes because it really does simplify your life. It gives you a strategy and um, you know there's sort of this like love-hate relationship with email, right? You know you're out for dinner and you're getting these notifications and it kind of gives you this low-level anxiety all the time and I just want to give you an opportunity today to actually you know, face the demon head on, take a look at your email and actually focus time on it. So let's go through some of my points. So the number one thing is never check your email in the morning. And, you know, if you look at what successful people do, none of them check their email in the morning. What they do is they put themselves first in the morning. So whether they're going for their morning workout or doing a meditation, they're doing that first and foremost. And secondly, they're doing their top priority item, um, working on that first instead of checking email. Because you know, like email is similar to Facebook. It's a slippery slope. You get in there and you start going through it and then you lose track of time. And before you know it, you know, a couple hours have gone by and you may have not actually got through anything in your email because you're just jumping around going, oh, I got to do this and I got to do that and I got to do this. So um, the other thing with that too is, Successful people check their email once or twice a day. So, you know, set the expectation with your friends and family or your clients that you are checking email at X time and X time and, and try to commit to that. And if you can't set a time, just commit to checking it once or twice a day. So what else did I want to tell you? Um, oh yeah, email notifications. That's a huge thing. You know, when we're constantly getting these email notifications, we... Um, basically get distracted and believe it or not it takes us 25 minutes to get back to our original task after we've been distracted so get rid of your email notifications if you can and just start checking email at certain times and you're gonna be able to breathe a huge sigh of relief because you are running your email it's not running you okay the other thing I wanted to tell you about is oh yeah organize your inbox so I'm a huge Gmail fan, so I use the tabs in the inbox. So there's like the primary tab, the promotions tab, the updates tab. Uh, so if you've got Gmail, use that. It really helps clear out the clutter and um, my primary inbox is so much easier to get through. And then I can take time to go through my promotions at different dates and things like that. So use that. And then one thing that I learned that I love is avoid creating a filing system for your email. It's just a total waste of time. So just archive everything in one big archive because with the, the way that you can search email now, you can search by the email uh, sender, the email address, and type you know information that you're looking for and it'll pull up and search for your email. So instead of wasting time you know, doing the drop down, finding the right folder, get rid of all of that. That's gonna save you a ton of time um, in the future. So just archive everything after it's dealt with. Okay, um, and the fifth thing, and this is my favorite, is basically scheduling email management time in. So depending on, you know, how many emails you get, schedule it into your calendar. And um, what I suggest you do is you set a timer for an hour and basically turn off all distractions, like turn off your phone, get everything cleared off your desk and basically focus on going through your email. Set the timer for one hour, start at the top and work through. 
Any email that will take two minutes or less to action, do it. Do it right then and there. And then archive or delete it after you've done it. Um, you know, use your flag feature in your email um, provider. You know, I know that I've got flags, I've got stars, all these different things. So if they are items that you need to action and go back to at a later date, you can. And you can create this, um, you know, different colored stars and things like that. And then you can go back and action it when you have more time. And here's another one. Like, we're always subscribing to things. Um, like, I'm going to want you to subscribe to, to my email. Uh, but, you know, sometimes the stuff that we're subscribed to, we don't read. And um, it's just creating stress for us. So really figure out those people you want to follow, those emails that you want to receive in your inbox. And if you don't want to get them, clear them out. Unsubscribe. And um, it feels so good to do that. You know, enjoy the ones that you really enjoy and then get rid of the rest. Um, and then email etiquette. And I think most people know this, but I know as Canadians, we are always so super polite. So, you know, if we get an email of someone doing something, you know, we have this response to email thank you, but don't. Everybody knows um, that a thank you is a given. You don't have to respond a thank you. It's just causing more stress for everybody because it's creating more emails in the inbox. So just like, don't worry about being polite. They know, they're happy. They don't have another email just to delete. Um, so you don't have to say the thank you, okay? And then the other thing is, is um, you know, think twice before you send an email. Do you really need to send the email? Um, is it something that maybe you could wait to talk about the next time you see the person? Uh, that type of thing. So just really take a second guess on when uh, you're emailing someone if it's absolutely necessary or not. Uh, so if you find this information useful, please share this. I'm trying to get the word out. I'm trying to get my What's Up Wednesdays out. So uh, share it on your Facebook page uh, so other people can get some of these tips because I know like the email is one of those things that everybody talks about and um, are, they're kind of at this point of like avoiding the email. So uh, start your timer one hour, like just do it now. If you have an hour, try it. Let me know how it goes, like below, right down below how much you get through. You'd be amazed at when you just put focused attention on email, how it's not that big monster that we make it out to be. So uh, try that and, you know, practice doing that delete, 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 because you get those endorphins that go off in your brain when you're hitting delete and it feels so good. So enjoy deleting. And, um, yeah, download my 10 tips at leannebetts.com to get more energy now. And um, you can also share that with other people that you think it would help. And uh, until next week, be abundant. Have a great week. Go get those emails.